All right, welcome to a quick tutorial and walkthrough of the popular website Easily, which is easel, like in an art easel, dot L-Y. It's not easily.com, it's easel.ly, which seems to be the trend by a lot of new sites these days. In any case, Easily is increasingly getting pretty popular, I'd say. Uh, I'm seeing it more and more as a way for people to create their own infographics. And as you can see here, they've already been 169,000, almost 170,000 visuals created, which is pretty cool. Uh, that just shows you sort of how easy it is to actually use this software and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you do that. So for starters, we're gonna look at the Easily homepage where they show you just some recent infographics or visualizations, call them whatever you want. Um, and as you can see, there's more than a few around here. They're all pretty cool and pretty well done, but we wanna make our own because we have a great idea. So we'll just click this. I already have it open in another page. And this opens up a current infographic that we can now edit and make into whatever we want. So right now it's about the many types of beverages. And now let's just say we want it to actually be about something different. We want it to be about the many types of coffee because there's a coffee cup in there. There. So easy as that. It's now the many types of coffee. So let's say we want to change each word. All you do is double click and it brings up a text editor and we'll call this Starbucks. Uh, and then we can call this one over here, Dunkin' Donuts, because they're sort of competitors. And you can hit return, it'll do a little break space for you. All right, so that looks pretty nice. Um, and obviously we can go and fill out all this good stuff. But what are some of the things that we can do with this using the Easily platform? We can add in lots of icons, lots of pictures of people. So let's say we want a picture of this basketball player drinking coffee or something. I don't know. But you can add in uh, the person right here. You can make it bigger or smaller. It's very easy to do. Uh, we'll just make it so he's going to slam dunk into the coffee because basketball players love coffee. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we can go and then choose other kinds of things. Instead of basketball players, let's say we want some music, uh, and we want to put a nice instrument right over here. So what goes better with coffee than some more music, I guess? I don't know. Uh, we can change the background, very simple to do. Uh, all you have to do is click, and you can drag the background onto it. There's plenty of options, lots of, lots of gradients. Honestly, this is one of the simplest image editing platforms I've ever seen, and anybody can really use it, so it's very cool. Um, we're going to go back to a nice simple one. We'll make it green. What do you think about that? Uh, we can always add in more text right here by just clicking this and we can add that in. Uh, we can add in shapes. There's a ton of shapes, um, lots of arrows and stuff, but also chat bubbles and sort of loading icons or percentage icons that you can use. So very cool. Um, the power to make infographics is great if you run a blog or a website or really a company of any kind. You can sort of use these to show off what you're doing. And now using Easily, you don't have to actually, you know, know how to edit images or do any kinds of technical things. So you can add in a grid, you can zoom in and out. It's really pretty robust. Um, one thing that I would always recommend is to uh, save your product and, or your visualization rather. It takes a little bit of time, but it's always good to do, good reminder. There, all right, and now let's say we want to open it up again, we can always go to open, and if you go to home, it'll end up leaving this. And that is just about it, so you can now start sharing all this stuff, all your hard work with all of your friends. Uh, you can post it too easily, or you can post it wherever you please. All you do is you close out and click on the view slash share, and as you can see, it'll give you the actual link to it now a JPEG, which is a flattened image, so here we'll copy that, paste it in, and there you go, already created. Or we can embed it using just copy and paste it this way. Uh, you can always set it to public or private, which is handy, because then it'll tell you who's going to actually be able to view your fancy new infographic. But that is about it. You can just immediately download it right here. You don't need to do that. 
And now you can always go back in and keep editing and make it absolutely perfect. But other than that, you should be good to go. I'd strongly recommend Easily. I've been using it for quite a little bit and they're adding to the platform all the time. So if you're watching this a little bit later, this uh, screencast was recorded in May 2013. So if it's a little bit later, then you probably have even more features now. And I envy you, people of the future. All right, there's always more information on modernlessons.com.